I was sitting on the couch and again I felt bored. So I took my phone and started browsing through Facebook. I scrolled through all the happy pictures. It was 20 July, so little more than one year ago. Unlike this year's summer, last summer was so sunny and hot, while I felt cold inside. Looking at my Facebook friends' pictures, I just didn't feel anything. When happy people share their happiness, it just reflects on you and you get to experience the same happiness and that's why you automatically smile too. But I just didn't feel anything. I felt disconnected from the entire world and its people. I didn't feel lonely because I wanted to be alone. I just had the constant feeling that I was wasting my life and I wasn't doing anything special. That I wasn't good enough. After scrolling for almost an hour, the All Might Facebook recommended me a Facebook group. Well, they say that the internet knows you better than you know yourself. Well, believe me, it's true. Which is really scary, I know. But if I didn't saw that group recommendation, my life would be totally different. The group that I'm talking about is the Kawaii Journaling and Stationery Lovers Club by Rainbowholic. You know, I just joined without thinking and after a few days looking at people's beautiful journaling creations, I thought, this actually seems fun. So I went to the mall and I got a plain A6 notebook. When I got home, I started right away. I mean, I was already a stationary addict, I was already into bullet journaling, so I had all the supplies ready. My first page was sort of an introduction. I just sticked a picture of myself and I also have written down some rules that I never followed eventually. I shared my first journaling spread and I got so many nice comments. I suddenly knew this journaling community is such a loving place, so I got motivated to do more. And now I journal every day and I have more than five notebooks. Every notebook has its own purpose. Journaling has taught me so many things. Writing about the things that happened made me relive the day. The happiness and the sad parts. This allows me to reflect on my day and learn from the bad decisions that I made, but also be grateful for the good parts in my life. 15 minutes morning or evening journaling is like emptying out my negative thoughts or ideas that have been wandering through my mind. And of course, if you know me, I always try to add some creativity to my journaling entries. This relaxes me and makes me experiment with different stationeries. And also, it kind of gives me a reason to keep buying stationery since I don't bullet journal a lot anymore. So with journaling, I get to use so much more and that also makes me so happy. The beautiful thing is that there is a whole community, people that share their creation and fun collabs that you do with your friends or challenges that you do with strangers, but after it you become friends because you have something in common. I am really happy to be part of this community that has allowed me to start a self-discovery journey. My mental health has improved so much and I try to challenge myself to reflect on new ways to create a good mindset. I don't say that it's very easy to just change your mindset or think positive like um, pushing a button, but journaling really helps you to keep track of things that you do and really see your progress. I just love to keep all of my journals and sometimes just open them and read about my day or read about things that I wrote or creations that I made. It just makes me really happy to see how I grow as a person. One year of journaling and it's changed my life. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. 
I just really wanted to make this video because it means so much to me and I hope that I inspired you to start journaling as well on my Instagram you will find five journaling entries that I made especially for this video that will let you think about your mental health and how to improve your life by just thinking differently uh, you will find the link for that post in the description box below and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.